Hi guys, hot off the presses, new article in 3D News stating from the developers of the day before to not buy this game. That's right, let's dive right into it guys. Hi guys, I'm Viper, welcome to the channel. So we all know by now that the day before has been delayed yet again due to some copyright issue which the developers brought upon themselves basically because they never applied for copyright on the name and another individual by the name of Loose Sun or something like that, I can't really think of what's happening yet, was the copyright and busted developer of the day before has had to delay the game yet again and this time it is till November the 10th of 2023 or is it? <laughs> yeah I can't honestly believe that this is actually going to come out. Um, one real major red flag is the game quality has dropped drastically since the gorgeous original trailer for the game. It is dark, it's boring, atmosphere, and tense surroundings. Now, regardless of the copyright issue, which I'm sure I don't have to go into in the clips on this video because you are most likely up to speed on the situation. But what you might not be aware of is the fact that a couple of uh, developers on the day before have come out and stated that the game is like a big mess and one of them developers have actually come out and said like not to buy it so without further ado we'll jump into the news article uh, I will go over it and uh, see what the developers are saying and why you should not buy the day before so on the 16th of February in the evening the uh, developers or whatever the studio fantastic brought out a six minute video as you can see here just basically trying to save face I say because the uh, the balls look big style in my eyes so as it says verbatim development started in early 2019 at that stage that the project was distinguished by stylized graphics and winter surroundings but the basics characteristics of the hero such as houses cars and interaction with all players were in place so they were already in place in 2020 the team decides to overcome themselves and made a real internal breakthrough by completely changing the day before updating the graphic styles to make it more mundane and realistic going beyond small settlements and creating a large city with skyscrapers since the release of the announcement in 2021 the team has revoked sorry reworked not revoked reworked all the characters outfits equipment weapons provided zombies with additional animations including for the female characters based on motion capture and a really realistic dismemberment system among other things fantastic redesigned vehicles and increased their number update the textures of hundreds of buildings and other objects improved ai controls and shooting as well as introduced new mechanics character edit or traits quests our sources say otherwise and locations world hub so basically they're bigging themselves up this is i think a quote from one of, i'm not too sure who that is salta gazanova i think she's a spokesperson for them we'll have to have, we'll have a look at in a minute i did see who it was but i can't remember who it is off the top of my head because i'm doing this without a script like because i did have another script I, did, I was doing a total video on how I think this is a fake game and I still think it's fake. I reckon they're just now trying to save face by making any sort of game so they can say that they actually released the game just like the Chronicles of Valerian garbage that's going on. So, it's been a long time and exciting journey. Four years of development approximately and we believe that after the release of the game we will give people faith that in this life if you stubbornly go towards a dream it will come true despite all the obstacles and doubts on your way. So that just backs up what I just said. So basically you're just going to make this game because you had to make this game because of all the hype that it got because it was the second most wishlisted game on Steam after Hogwarts Legacy. So yeah, they, they, they had to do something. It's not like they could just like uh, leave it and uh, not do nothing about it. So yeah, they are just trying to save face with this. But now we'll go over to the actual leaked development i think it's three developers that have said stuff about the game and you want to check this out so we'll just go over there now and have a look at that but before we do do that quick word from the sponsor the like button go down there smash the guy in the face just to let him know well just to let me know rather that you do like the content that i bring out and why not subscribe it's free it helps me out so much and thank you you absolute legends so let's now look 
and what the developers have said and why you should not, I repeat, you should not buy the day before when it releases. And here we now are, out the meat of this meal. This is from the developers working inside Fantastic and working on the actual day before game. Fantastic co-founders Eduardo and Einstein Kotostev make many key and minor de decisions based solely on their own conclusions and not on expert advice, analytics or specific indicators. This is verbatim. Much in the development of the day before depends on the mood of the brothers themselves. Decisions made yesterday can be cancelled in the evening of the current day and the whole course of development can turn around from this. One of our sources described the brothers methodology as this also applies to the work done by specific employees but the next day you can go under the knife with the wording yes stupidly i don't know if i didn't read that right but <laughs> that just did not make sense when i was reading it uh, the sources gave the following examples less than two weeks before the delivery of an important build the team was told to introduce new mechanics into the game despite the fact due to the fragility of the day before cold this action threatened to break everything that was set up for the build and tear them away oh excuse me big ass there and tear them away from urgent tasks some of the other employees due to the whims of management workers have had to do things as soon as possible and when the result does not suit the brothers they begin to get angry raise their voice or use foul language forgetting that they themselves instructed just to do that first of all ordinary employees suffer from all of this as for recent borrowings from Call of Duty and The Last of Us, the day before is really created with an eye on Western blockbusters. Let me just do that so it's not silent. As they like to do. It's one of the most frequent requests of the brothers to the team. The brothers agree to proposals from the outset that if there is supporting material in other AA games, or AAA games rather, the mouthpiece of the views of the brothers and the day before team are game designers who combine their core duties with project management in their areas, control over ordinary employees instead of answering the questions, why do this? They refer to the decisions of the authorities and testing the game. So, doesn't sound too good that does it, no, no, like, you know what I mean, it's like something's going on at the studio, it doesn't seem like they've got their, uh, the, like, the team together and that and what's going on and that lot, it's like, been told to do one thing and then later on that day they're going to do it go and take it to the brothers and then they turn around and like say nah this is not what we want this is stupid but yeah you just told me to do it so there's some miscommunication in management and the staff there obviously but it goes on the good news from our conversation with sources is that at least the 40 second attached above and 10 minute videos of the day before published by fantastic at the beginning of the month are quite real Another thing is that they do not show anything significant. According to informants, most of the elements and mechanics that were shown earlier were made specifically for trailers and not the game itself, while the direct assembly of the day before into something solid state started only at the end of 2021 before the release of Prop Night or earlier 2022. Our informants reports that Fantastic Management is not thinking about adding anything other than zombies, players, and vendors to the day before. A hired screenwriter, for example, only dealt with lines for merchants. The quest system is supposedly once written, but there is not a single hint of it either in the code or in the game itself. The whistleblower warns that fantastic risks bring in even more negativity to the day before discussions. The studio wants to release the game in its raw form. In its raw form <laughs> and bring it to the proper level of quality with patches only after the release i strongly do not recommend buying this that is from a developer working on the day before at fantastic studios who gave an anonymous uh like uh interview to this magazine article or this magazine to make this article rather and they the, the developers even say it do not buy do not, I do not recommend buying this. So, that's a bit bad. Bit bad. So, yeah. It is almost pretty much confirmed in my eyes that the game before is a fake game. Like, the day before was fake. They tried to do a money run with it to get money from it. And then when they got the money from it that they wanted, now they're getting the backlash because they didn't probably expect for it to go so popular. And now that it is so popular and everybody wanted it, that they're now 
need to make something or at least bring something out. You know, like how the Chronicles of Valeria is like they're just trying to save face and bring out some absolute garbage, which is not what the people wanted. So yeah, big let down there, guys. I'm not too sure, like why why the developers brought out that stuff saying that everything else is going to be all alright and all that lot and then yet yeah, you've got developers that are coming out for working on the game stating that do not buy this game it's an absolute mess it's like oh, the only thing that they've done is change stuff that looked amazing so the graphics have dropped the quality of the gameplay has dropped there probably isn't even any gameplay it's probably just the uh, like a trailer movie you now you do see a bit of gameplay in it but that could just be like they built like a uh, like a like a narrow strip like a street and then you've got them running down that street i think the only decent bit of gameplay footage is the bit in the mall is it on this no it's not on this one but it might be in a 10 minute one here but i'm not going to pull that on and watch that just for that little clip i have got it somewhere but uh, that's it then guys uh, i thought i'd get this message out there and uh, tell you guys about it i know i'm only a small channel and please go down and subscribe it helps me out so much i'm trying to reach my first goal of 100 subscribers that's my first goal i've set for myself I'm just over halfway, so I, uh, I am happy about that. But I, I need help from you guys to reach that 100 sub goal. And, uh, and again, thank you very much for watching the video to the end. I really do appreciate it. And I shall see you all in the next one. This is Viper signing out. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Three,